users, Alex here, you VRA guide, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your computer linearly with LWF linear workflow. We're going to observe uh, two different methods. One is um, very comfortable to work with, and one is very correct to work with. Uh, I'm talking about linear and exponential color mappings. I'm going to show you the differences between those uh, two methods and the possibilities of saving files, uh, one with PNGs and TIFFs, and one, of course, with uh, full floating point, uh, like OpenXR or HDRI file. And um, I'm going to show you how to set up your system to Gamma 2.2. Um, this is the most common emails that I'm getting, um, that I got last week. So um, instead of answering you by one by one, I'm just going to, del to do this tutorial and to cover the whole topic. Um, if you didn't notice, well, you probably already did, uh, we, knew, we moved to a new space, uh, to California, to Cupertino. Well, I put some color on my, uh, on my background. As you see, um, we don't have any paintings here, nothing, because it's a new space. But we should probably uh, get some cool renderings uh, to put on, uh, on, this, uh, on those uh, empty walls. Um, don't worry, we'll get there. Anyway, to our topic today. Um, the first thing is uh, what that you want to do in order to see and to, to get the correct colors, the correct exposures, um, as you see here on this image, in order to do that, um, you need um, to set up your computer, uh, your gamma is basically what, um, what refers to, um, to your, uh, all your system how you see it, how you view it, how you get your textures into your system, into your 3D Max. Well, in order to do it correctly and linearly, you need to open your uh, preferences, customize preferences, you go to Gamma and LUT, and you need to set up your system to Gamma 2.2. So, in this dialog, what you need to do is uh, to enable Gamma LUT correction, uh, also enable state with uh, 3D Max files, set up your Gamma to 2.2 uh, tick those guys here enable color selector and materials editor this will basically will show uh, the colors and will uh, show uh, the textures correctly with uh, gamma 2.2 applied in your material editor in 3d max and the last thing you want to do is to put here input 2.2 as well this is basically will bring all uh, all uh, your textures in 3d max and will apply automatically to all your textures gamma 2.2 but as i said before if there is uh, uh, if, if the texture comes too dark that means it's got already 2.2 uh, gamma applied to it in the profile image so what you want to basically do is go and do it manually just click on your texture and in the import dialog set the override to one just to bring it back uh, to the normal state if it's too dark. If it's not, if it's okay, uh, this should work uh, just fine with all your textures. Um, so uh, this is it on this topic, on setting your computer. This works basically for two methods. This is how you should uh, calibrate uh, your system, your 3D Max. Okay? You can also use uh, uh, devices for uh, monitor calibration. Um, I've covered this topic in my, uh, in my on my blog. You can read about uh, system configuration. But um, if you don't want to uh, put too much money out on, on, on stuff like uh, calibration devices and and uh, or expensive monitors and stuff like that, just set up your system, set up your 3D Max, and you'll be fine. Okay. The next thing is I'm going to show you the method that I'm working with, that I'm uh, very comfortable with. Um, I'm working with exponential as a color mapping. This is not the right uh, way to work. It's not the linear. It's like I call it fake linear, but it produces really nice results. And I get to save uh, PNGs and TIFFs just as it is. I don't calibrate my frame buffer. What I see in my frame buffer is exactly the image that I'm going to save and uh, I'm going to work with in uh, Photoshop, okay? So, so this is the method, setting your uh, color mapping to exponential 2.2, setting your gamma, and uh, press and render. This is uh, this image already rendered, this is how it looks. Um, this, is, this is the method, 
okay this is the first the fake LWF okay the second method is uh, like the correct method as working with a linear space and setting up your um, first of all you need to set up your color mapping to linear all of those gamma bright multiply and dark multiply to one 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 so it will be linearly also tick this out you don't want to clamp your your colors you want to give the full floating point of, of color depth and um, to, in, or, in order to enable uh, the color range um, fully in your uh, in your files and you want to save this file as uh, open AXR if you save this file uh, after render as uh, as PNG uh, or, or TIFF it will not basically be very efficient way to do to work with okay so if we back if we just go back to uh, to the previous method with uh, with exponential and uh, gamma 2.2 here if we save this file as an open XR let me just show you what will happen I'll just going to save this open XR okay and I'm going to open this file in my Photoshop well as you see here it's nothing look like uh, the render we got here this is because we worked in the exponential we burned our pixels and we did not calibrate our frame buffer so in order to work in linear space you need to uh, put everything to linearly 111 remove clamped out and to calibrate your frame buffer you can uh, do it by uh, selecting the by uh, pressing this srgb button or you can uh, you can open your uh, color correction and to put this to 1.6 and this to 3 point activate it right here use color uh, uh, use color curve correction and this is how you cali calibrate your uh, frame buffer okay so uh, let me just uh, press the render to render this uh, thing out because uh, we need to re-render it in order to burn all pixels into our image and I'll show you how it looks in Photoshop so uh, in a bit all right the render is done as you see here we rendered it with the linear and everything was 111 it came a little bit burnt out because we didn't adjust our camera settings uh, we switched from exponential to linear and we left our camera settings so we need to adjust that um, in order to remove those exposures here but let me show you this open AXR that we saved in Photoshop here we go I just open this in Photoshop and as you see here it's the same exactly the same file as we rendered it looks exactly the same as our render here and um, let me just uh, show you the real power of open AXR I just go here to exposure and as you see here I can bring all the missing information back to my image I even can adjust here the gamma so um, I can work all this way back because we've got here full uh, floating point and we can bring the whole missing information it's there it's in our pixel depth so this is basically the power of uh, OpenXR files so just remember if you work with exponential you can save PNGs and TIFFs but you need to work your color mapping to gamma 2.2 and there is no need to calibrate your frame buffer uh, and if you work with linear you need to set everything to 111 and calibrate your frame buffer and the saving file will be open AXR so um, if you like this video just click below like it uh, share it with your friends um, send it spread the world I will be very very thankful to you and um, as you already know in a few days something really great is going to come out so stay tuned this was Alex your guide to us